Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I'll be discussing about prompt template. So previously, I think I showed you how we can use this uh, Langchain to access different different large language model. And uh, whenever I was accessing this large language model, that means uh, whenever I was, uh, let's say, sending my prompt to the large language model, you can see I was giving the complete prompt. Okay, this is the complete prompt actually I was to pass. Let's say this is the prompt I want to open a restaurant for Chinese food, suggest me a fancy name for this. Now let's say if user needs to change this food okay food let's say category let's say uh, he wants to let's say put indian food here so what he has to write again he will he has to write the complete prompt yes or no that means if i show you let's say i can copy and i can paste it here let's say i will comment this line now let's say here instead of chinese food i will give indian food okay indian food now if i execute see it is giving me indian restaurant now let's say if I want to give any other food, let's say I want to give Korean food, I want to give let's say Pakistani food, I want to give let's say, I want to give let's say Italian food, so I have to every time write the entire prompt, okay. But let's say you are creating a complete application, you are creating a complete let's say web application or let's say streamlit application or any kinds of application there, you don't want to pass this entire prompt again and again because if user uh, let's say needs to pass this prompt entirely again and again so it would be a little, little bit actually let's say hard for the user yes or no now see instead of passing the entire prompt you can see we can only change this uh food category okay the food category will only change otherwise the see this prompt will remain same now every time so that time actually i can do the slight modification here that means i can create a template of the prompt and user will only select that part he needs to change here okay this is the idea now let me show you how it can be done so for this actually we'll be using something called prompt template okay now since inside langchain we are having uh inside langchain prompts we are having something called prompt template now here i've created a prompt template and here i've given the input variables is equal to cuisine now this is the same prompt i have written you can see i want to open a restaurant for now you can see in the bracket i've written cuisine okay now this is going to be the input only and rest of the uh, let's say prompt will remain same okay as per the prompt you have written previously so just me a fancy food this okay now here is the prompt template i'm creating i'm just doing the format operation and cuisine is equal to italian that means user will only give the food category right now let's say italian indian pakistani okay or let's say bangladesh anything they can put here it's up to them now user don't have to write the entire prompt user will only change the food category here got it so this is called actually prompt template so whenever we'll be creating any kinds of uh, let's say large language powered application whenever we'll be creating any kinds of gna application we always need to take care of this particular prompt let's say i don't need to pass the entire prompt instead of that what i can give i can only give the prompt which is required to get my output okay this is the idea now see if i execute this line now see it is creating my complete prompt that means user is giving italian food now see in the cuisine section it will come the it now you can see in the cuisine section it will replace with the italian now if i give let's say indian now see here it uh, indian will come okay i think you got it now there is another way you can uh, define this prompt template now you can write a uh, prompt template dot from underscore template now this is another prompt i have given what is the good name for the company that makes now you can see product should be the input now here you can pass the product name like that uh, prompt dot format product is equal to colorful socks or any other name let's say cakes or let's say uh, biscuits anything you can give here now if i execute see in the product this uh, input would be replaced okay so this is called actually prompt template inside langchain and this is like very powerful concept guys because going forward whenever you will be implementing application this concept will help you a lot got it so yes this is what i just wanted to show you in the next video we'll be learning about chains inside uh, uh, langchain and with the help of chain actually we'll be integrating this prompt template as well as the large language model and we'll be again doing the inference operation so as of now this is all about from this video thank you so much